So now we know that if a function f is differentiable at point x equals c, then f must be continuous at x equals c. The contrapositive is also true. If a function f is not continuous at x equals c, then f is not differentiable at x equals c. So when will this, I guess, this property be useful? Well, let's say we wanted to prove that f of x is continuous at a point. As long as we can find the derivative of this function at a point and show that this is a real number, then we can show that this function is continuous at that given point. So here we have f of x equals x squared minus 3x plus 2. Therefore, the derivative of our function f is equal to 2x minus 3. Now if we input x equals 1, then we get 2 minus 3 equals negative 1. Therefore, f is differentiable at x equals 1 which implies that f is continuous at x equals 1. So there's a very simple proof here.